What's up guys, it's Sugi Akimo, and before I get into actual what the video is about, I want you to go check out my friend Jab28. He just started YouTube a f like two months ago, and he is really cool. Uh, he has some uh, original video videos that I couldn't come up with. Like, all of his videos is basically a original, um, and uh, he just... You can tell he has a lot of fun with his videos, and he's trying to um, get uh, get a lot of more um, subscribers and audience. But he is like one of the. He seems so genuine. He seems so nice and caring about um, other YouTubers. And he his passion is Skylanders. Like his number one passion is Skylanders. And I think he has more dedication than me. Like, his whole house is Skylanders. He made an awesome video. So make sure you guys go go check his this guy out. And, um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you like his videos. Uh, it's just all Skylanders. His house is filled with just Skylanders. Just Skylanders. So, yeah, I just wanted to shout him out. And, um... Yeah, his link will be down in the bio if you want to go check him out. And, um, yeah. So, let's get on with the video. So, what's up, guys? So, you come out, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you my five favorite villain senseis. My, well, my top five. So, here we go. Number five is Piñata. Like, you have to have Pinata on the list. Like when they had Pinata, it was such a crea creative character, like a uh, angry Pinata. It's just so amazing. I like the color of Pinatas too is kind of amazing looking to look at. Anyways, number four is number four for me has to be Hutsicle. Hutsicle was a very good character like Pinata in Trap Team. So great looking with his scythe, and uh, I just love his mask, love his detail, and everything. I um, hopefully I like him with his new move set now that he's of the dark element and the uh, actual playable figure now. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully I like him like Trap Team as well. So he's number four for the looks of this new game right now. Number three is Chaos. Who doesn't have chaos on their top, a few top favorite uh, villains since it is this year? Because ever since chaos was officially revealed, we kind of knew he had to be in a figure, or a lot of people would be kind of upset uh, or sad. But uh, he, he has someone he can use up to all the. 10 battle classes within his attacks, and just, it's chaos. Like, he's gonna be so overpowered. Who cannot have him as a favorite? Number two is Golden Queen. Where when I saw her in, in Trap Team, uh, I was just like, oh my MG, her attacks must be really great. And plus, I probably like to, because of the cutscenes in Trap Team, with her and Wolfgang. Uh, her and Wolfgang, and, and I just gave up my number one. Uh, which is Wolfgang, but the dynamic between those two characters and how they look and their attacks, they have to be my favorite um, uh, spin senseis. Especially, I was so happy that those two in Chaos is a toy this year. I've been waiting, I've been actually sculpting her out of clay since Trap Team, and uh, Nowhere near Wolf. I'm do, trying to do Wolfgang of what he would look as a toy with my clay skills, cause yeah, um, yeah, my clay skills. Those that's a whole other story. But um, I I I'm I wouldn't say I'm the best because I don't have experience. I'm not like taking school for it or anything. But I'm pretty good at knowing some some techniques. But uh, yeah, uh, she's in the starter pack, so that is great for me. I'm getting the dark edition. Although I really want her regular form because her regular form is actually what I like. Why I like this character. So yeah. And number one is Wolfgang. Like look at his 
detail on the Swift One. It is amazing, the detail this year. So that's all for this video. Make sure you guys give it a like, subscribe, and if you haven't already, and comment uh, what your favorite sensei, villain sensei, is for this year. So uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, see you guys on the next video. Peace.